TK! Back on the server again, all smalls all around, and why shouldn't it be, brother? Let's go ahead and talk about what happened today, because another day, another dub, another dollar. Hell yeah. That's all there is to it. Yeah, it's sure, exactly. It's all like that. Talk me throughout that game today, okay? From your perspective, your feelings, your ups and downs, your roller coasters today. To be frank, I don't know if we had any business winning Lotus. You uh, <laughs> we, from a, from a, you know, a responsible, strategic, macro, zoomed out coach standpoint, looking at that radar, uh, we we got a lot of attack rounds we didn't deserve at all. But hey, that's all right. We'll clean up. Well, uh, well, we got we were a little too excited, and it made us play a little less intelligible than we're capable of. That's fine. I felt better about it. It's just little stuff. Hey, I mean that's okay. Cause look, here, here's the thing, right? Cause look, what what you what you kind of may go ahead and dumb down in when it comes to just certain stupid rounds, and you just go ahead and ooga boonga in. You make up for it in Ken's getting an ace, which we love. <laughs> and then Zeus is performing on breach, so him beating the allegations anytime he can is always a positive, I'd say. That's uh, right. Uh, which he also used the alt this time, so let's go, Jordan. We're Every proud of him for that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you tell him that too. <laughs> Fucking dead, brother. Uh, but <laughs> last week, though, uh, uh, in an interview, you mentioned and you said that crew was going to be a tough ass game. Did it live up to your expectations of that tough game, you think? Yeah, I think so. I think they're they're uh, they were a tough opponent. They definitely have very good players, and I think their Lotus was really tough. I think their split was not as tough as it looked. I think that we prepared well, and I don't think I drilled the prep into us as well as I could have. Um, and then we just made some small mistakes. So I'll give them. A, I would say Lotus is tough, but it was not tough. I could see that because I, mean, I mean, I feel like split is your bread and butter, right? But then split on its own, though was Percy, in my opinion, a lot closer than it should have been, but I want to get your thoughts on it. Yeah, I think attack could have been even cleaner if I, um, if I, like I said, drilled some prep in, into us better uh, in, in, in less of a rushed way. And then defense, I think we did great. I think John called it really well, and I just think it was uh, playing scared at first and then uh, and then just small mistakes after after I time out and said, can we please just start running around killing them and playing more uh, with a little more confidence? And then, and then I think it was just small stuff and a really well key called point. Do love when that happens too. Uh, speaking of calling, by the way, I noticed because like on the cast they were highlighting a lot about how crew on Lotus right was like reading really heavily into what you guys wanted to do in your plan. Did you find that too? Did you see that? It's hard to say. It's hard to do that without seeing the full mini map and how they're what. You know how they're moving around but like uh, we expected to be surprising them with uh, the comp switch so. okay all right that's that's what's up right and and, and i think yeah of course just the fact that y'all got flexibility in the compositions is you're doing most in a lot of teams and it makes my heart happy man thank god we're not sucked into just mirror comps over and over what what was also nice though is uh i wanted to hear is you also mentioned last time that you're finally getting these beautiful rounds and beautiful rounds you described as the ability to be able to pivot, clean comms without over communication, and just good, solid sentinel showing. Did you see those again today? Yeah, I think we did. Um, my favorite rounds I see lately are ones where we we we're, we're quite methodical and patient, and really work the information. Are very calm. I would say I didn't get as much of that today as I love to see, and I felt like I got last weekend. But that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes we're just playing a different way, and it's the right way to play. And I mean, I'm just split's already a comfortable place, so. Yeah. Clean, but you know, yeah. I, my my chef's kiss rounds lately that I just love to see because I'm like, oh, we're really figuring it out and getting certain things that we did struggle at, you know, doing them better. I didn't get as much of that today, but I don't think it's necessarily anyone's fault. Uh, what I do care about is that Cap, you love tea. I, I've seen this. I know. I know you're a massive tea head, right? And uh, I was talking to Yeti about this and how he, you and I have similar orders from him coming back from China. Ooh. I think. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah so so take me through because i know you also study mandarin as well too bro are you a tea aficionado do you have a thousand leaves at home what's up i'm a big tea guy i do drink a lot of uh sencha a lot of japanese green tea or gyopuro i don't you know like i'm not a big matcha guy i don't know uh there's a tea i really like called kamari cha it's, it's like i think it's pan roasted green tea from japan i like chinese tea oolong jasmine but i'd never had 
Chinese green tea. I think it's called Longjing tea. So I asked Yeti to bring me some back. And now here's, let me get really quick. I went, we vacationed in Korea after Afrika TV. And uh, I went to this beautiful tea house every day to start my day. And I just sat there for an hour and I had this green tea and it was incredible. And I just, it was a very special core memory for me, a special place. And then I had this long Jing tea that he brought back. And I don't know if it's really the same tea or not, but effectively it seems like it because it tastes the same. And it, I've never had a taste take me back to a memory so well. I got a little tear dried looking out my window in the morning. I was back in Korea in December in that tea house. Uh, so long Jing tea, big vouch. Man, that is beautiful. And thank you, Yeti, for bringing it back for me. Dude, shout out to the goat Yeti, bro. That's, that's my king right. right there. Uh, which, I mean, I will hopefully see him soon to get my tea as well. Uh, I don't know what he got for me, but I just said, give me something, please. I like that. Yeah, it's just, just whatever, whatever it takes, <laughs> because I, being an Indian, am a chai fan, actually. You know, like masala mm -hmm. chai, that's my yeah. thing. But I grew up on, personally. So yeah, I understand sense. what you mean. But I expanded my taste recently just to making pure leaf tea and to just boiling in water and letting my senses take over as I go on a yeah. journey. So give it a little whiff before you taste it. Oh. Watch the leaves curl if you got a clear, if you can ever steep it in something clear. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. I bought a special clear, like, 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 like steeping, like mug as well, specifically for that. And Ooh, drink yeah. it also in a clear cup as well too. Just, oh yeah. You gotta get the clear mug. You gotta get it. Right. It's just, <laughs> it's just, I understand you get it. Oh, it's, <laughs> It's so nice, man. It's just, it's, it's, I love it a lot. Uh, also, a question from the crowd that I had, especially from Tokibi. Uh, she asked, are you related to the Shroud clan? <laughs> I think Shroud might, might have some Polish heritage. I have a quarter uh, Polish uh, in me. So okay. maybe that's uh, my, one of my grandmothers was Polish. Okay, I understand. Okay. I mean, I, well, came from a Polish family. Sorry, she was born in America. Okay, all right, makes sense. Because to be fair, uh, you know, I assume you can also shoot like Shroud too. No, I've seen the servers guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly why I'm coaching right now because I can shoot like Shroud. <laughs> Wait, Got whoa. it. Whoa, 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 hold on. Let's not forget Space Station Gaming. Let's okay. <laughs> let's not forget Prime Caplet. All right. Yeah. Spacers and ears, bro. But dual teeth, ready to go. What are we talking about? That shit could have been top one VCT today. <laughs> sure. Sure. Thank you. Going back a bit more uh, into the team, though, is that uh, talking a bit more to her, talking a bit to, to like John and Zelsis too, they talked a lot about how finally the break was exactly what they needed. They're comfortable. They're feeling good again. The mental reset even after about like four to five weeks of scrims too. I won't ask you about form, but... The reset where is this showing for you like do you find that you're able to look at the game in a different perspective now or you just have like much better ideas not now that your head isn't as crammed in all the time yeah i definitely from my side i find it easier to think about the game to come up with strategies with a clear head and stuff like that when um when i'm more refreshed and like have a bit of a routine going and obviously like there's a lot i could do personally like I talked a lot about it in Madrid. Like I felt more burnt out in Madrid than I felt like I should have been in March. And I feel like there's things I can do with my own lifestyle and the health where my I could basically fight off burnout for longer into a season. Um, but that being said, having the break really helps me. I think the biggest thing is five weeks of scrimming with this team without a match. By the end of five weeks, we've gone so insane. We're, we're so pissed off at each other because we've just had frustrating scrim days for five weeks that once you get to a match, it's just bliss. It's just so refreshing that you, you know, I think that's the trick. You're at the brink of insanity and then you finally get that match and you you remember that you love each other. <laughs> so do you go back to frustrations when it's like back to scrim days like next week? <laughs> we we do better once we're in the in the flow. The scrims, the scrims are better when they're in between matches, but when it's like week three or four of scrimming and you haven't had a match, it's just like everyone's got the itch. Yeah. Just, you're just it's like hard to like give your best and then people get frustrated at each other and then my job becomes about mediating that and yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's good just, i mean it's good uh i do always say that being a coach is is being 70 percent just uh a people person uh because like you you say strats but half the time you're like so what happened what did he say to you i understand yeah that was mean 
Uh, I'm going to be an incredible father one day. <laughs> Cat, I don't doubt that for a fucking second, bro. You're, <laughs> you're going to be immaculate. Your kids going to want to tell you everything, and you're going to hear them out and then tell them that's okay. You're fine now. Fine. Now get back at the freaking server and shoot, right? Let's get this done. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be so, so good, dude. Uh, which, by the way, final question. There, there's a picture you posted with your homie syndicate of you and that cowboy hat by that vault door. What's going on there? Bro? Oh man, that was a good time. Synced is Synced. is my like childhood best friend. I have known him since I was like 10 or 11 online and we played online games together every day for like nine years. And I hadn't seen him in nine years. And then that was a uh, Shroud's birthday party. And then we, we, we uh, got to meet up in person again and I had some drunk tears. We had a great time. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, love great that. guy. Check out his stream. Really funny streamer. Big vouch. Hell yeah! All right, we love we 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 do we do love synced. And then, naturally, of course, I'm glad you got to meet your to Shroud once more, which is great. Happy birthday to him. Right. <laughs> which is great. Absolutely. But aside from that, though, Cap, that's all the time naturally I have for today. It never feels like long enough, man. But <laughs> it's been a pleasure and an honor as always. You guys are looking good. I'll be watching. Take care, man. All right, appreciate it, man. Take it easy.